Ladies and gentlemen, we got a little bit different video of a video today. We got the one and only pro power lifter. The one, the only one. Avi, you guys know me, I'm not a big supplements guy. I'm addicted to caffeine, I drink a lot of it. I take a little bit of creatine mono in the morning. I've never taken a supplement sponsor in my life, so none of this is endorsed. We're trying a new supplement. We're trying to get absolutely yacked. And so there are a few things that work in this world with slight performance enhancing, right? Caffeine is one of them. Creatine monohydrate is another. But a lot of the times the effects of them are short lived. Uh, you don't always feel them. Creatine, you're gonna take it. People ask, do you feel it? Not really. Maybe you're squeaking out a rep here and there. But over a year, maybe you squeak out 100 more reps than you would without it. Glycerol is a similar style supplement, but I would say to put it in layman's, it's like an acute version, a short term version of creatine. They call it like an ultra or hyper hydrator. So you'll be able to hold on to liquids and stay hydrated uh, better during a workout or a competition even. Sounds like pretty important. Yeah. I don't know the exact stats. Maybe Seabass can Google them for you. There's crazy things where if you lose 20% dehydration, your performance can go down like 30, 40%. So like hydration, and, and that's any sport, basketball, soccer, let alone strength. The other thing this thing does is it draws water into your muscles, which is pump and obviously performance. The more hydrated and oxygenated our muscles are, the better we're gonna be able to perform last longer. <laughs> this is uh, just a bulk company. We're not sponsored or anything like that, but it suggests uh, about 1500 uh, migs, about half an hour before working out. I've never taken anything like this. Actually, it was a banned substance by WADA for about 10 years, and now it's unbanned for the last five years or so, 2017, 2018. And again, normally things are banned based on lack of knowledge or that they're actually performance enhancing. They're not always just banned because they're unhealthy, right? Like this isn't trend. Uh, and we're not gonna feel like trend. But I have heard from friends, shout out to Joe, even at game day, Stanek. People say that you get some insane pumps and I got back in buys today and I like insane pumps. Are you gonna do biceps with me? Yeah, I'll do it. Whoa, <laughs> put them away. We gotta do it before and after pump, bro. Yeah, yeah. do it, all right. So, before. Now we're gonna chug this. It says um, three quarters of a teaspoon. But no way, right? I'm a big guy. If some's good, more's better. Right. Yeah, sure. Just overdose on some glycerol. Overdose. Never know. I'll just shit it out. Feel the pump yet? It's called stage one pump. Rate, rate it below in the comments. I should have shaved. I'm having some little, uh, I believe it's called tendinopathy. Just got a little angry there. I don't know, my veins do kind of look like they're going. I haven't really pumped. I can't tell yet. I feel good though. And I haven't really eaten. And yesterday was like a low calorie day, so maybe it's placebo or not. What's the weight looking like? Today was a little heavy. I haven't dookie. I'll probably have a two pound dookie in there. If I, I was like 193.8. <laughs> so a little high, but it, you know, maybe a 1.8 dookie and then I'm 192 again. But yeah, now the pump comes. Exploit me while you can. Oh, whoa. What? Um, what supplements do you take? Creatine and caffeine. How much creatine do you take? Five grams. Every day? Religiously? I started being more consistent like a week ago. But yeah, I've been doing it every morning. You're in prep, did you? Uh, no, I did until like I was trying to cut, but I was afraid of water. It's not gonna hold that I much. I know, oh, I know. Why are you helping? Now all girls are scared to take creatine because they think they'll be heavy. No, it was just the water. It's not that much water. I was just afraid. During a meet when I'm cutting, I'm so afraid of not making weight. And then you weigh in four pounds uh, light. Three pounds. I weighed three pounds under. And then underperformed. I didn't underperform. No, you performed amazingly, but imagine if you were 123. I probably was because I ate and stuff after. You had one gummy bear. No, I had gummy worms, and I had multiple, and I had pre-workout. And now we need creatine. Yeah, huh? Creatine. What if you need it. Do I need it? No, oh, the world needs it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it was helping me during training, personally. Um, that's why I'm taking it again. There's a lot of research for your brain. Obviously, the musculature and your ATP process, but tons of good stuff on creatine. So take that. I'm the same as you. I only take caffeine. Have you ever experimented with glycerol? No. Am I an enabler? Uh, definitely. Pedaling 
supplements on you? No. It was fun. I mean, it was it was fun. I mean, I, it sucked, but like, I've never seen my biceps so round before. It's pretty cool. You got big biceps. Yeah. No, I, I didn't before. Did you eat, and you didn't eat this morning either. I, I didn't eat anything. Neither of us are carved up, so carbohydrate, right? It obviously draws water and glycogen into the, into the muscle. Um, so having carbs probably on top of this would go crazy. So maybe we'll do it again. We'll have a little gummy bear party and a, and a pump party. But um, so far, like if you just like the pump to feel good, like it's a guarantee. Yeah. Like I would take it. It feels good. It's, that was like $10 for how, who knows how many servings. You don't have to buy some expensive product. You could buy a bulk from anywhere. Chug some water. Okay, it's, it gives you a pump, but like, is that it? It's just a feeling? So, uh, so it's a hydration thing. Um, so similar to creatine, I think that if you have more hydration within your body, within your muscle, your endurance or your strength is gonna be uh, greater. Like we talked about earlier, I don't know the exact stat, I'm just not a numbers guy, but like, you lose like 10% of hydration within your body and your performance tanks. Um, so being as hydrated in any sport, powerlifting, bodybuilding, basketball, soccer, volleyball, is one of the easiest things. That's why Gatorade is such a big market. That's what Florida tried to do when they created Gatorade back in the day. Try to keep you hydrated as long as you want because they know how your performance can crash if you're not hydrated. A pump itself does have like metabolites in there. Like a pump is part of building muscle. It's not the only factor. Like you can build tons of muscle without getting a pump, but it's not negative. It's only gonna help. And then obviously it's fun. So it increases your, like the intensity of your training? Yeah, yeah. And so you'll be able to kind of like creatine. If you, if you have better uh, hydration, better energy, and energy isn't only calories, right? We use ATP when we're doing like explosive performances, like under 10 second type shit. Uh, the longer and more sets you can do, the more reps you can do, the more weight you can do, and over times, weeks, months, years, you're gonna be stronger, you're gonna build more muscle. Are you gonna do it more often now? I'll probably do it on pump days. I mean, I do arms almost every day, so maybe. It's cheap, and it doesn't taste that bad. Like, it doesn't taste good, but like, who cares? Like, I've taken so many gross supplements. Um, I'll definitely, if I remember, I'll, I'll chug some of my pre-workout. There's kind of just no reason not to at the price. It doesn't hurt too. Yeah. It's a big bag. You're gonna have it for for a huge ass bag, right? Um, that's it. That's the supplement that you didn't know you needed. The illegal supplement banned substance that me and Avi are on. That's a good title. That's a good thumbnail. Clickbaited your ass, but it's true. Yeah. It was banned from like 2010 to 2018 in WADA, which rules all Olympics. Right. So it was banned. So, are you natty now? Uh, yes. I am. It's no longer banned. 2018, Avi's not natty. I didn't take glycerol in 2018. In the time, age, continuum of a black hole, you're not natty. But I'm not natty? She's, She's not, not natty, natty, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I hope you enjoyed the video. We over me, Silent Mike. Catch you in the next one.